Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought we could talk about fishing luck, how it works, how much luck you should be using and why, and try to simplify it all so that everyone can understand. Because as we know, when we get into loot tables and loot threshold weights and shit like that, some people start seeing massive numbers and simply shut down and just say this is too confusing, which I completely get, because sometimes it really is. Now the reason I wanted to make this video is because lately with the introduction of the musical instruments, the prices went way up on some things, like snail slime, catfish whiskers, and of course brilliant pearls, and everyone is asking how do I increase my chances at catching oysters? And I have seen some great videos out there on the topic, however, some of the information in them is simply incorrect and clearly untested. Now don't get me wrong, I don't say this with contempt. They are truly trying to help, but there exists in the game certain loot thresholds, which I will show you, that when you use certain amounts of luck, things change and happen a certain way. So let's just get into it. So to begin, let me first go over a bit of how fishing luck works and where you get it, so that when I show you later my setup for oysters it may make more sense. So first, there are many sources in New World for fishing luck, gear, trophies, bait, your fishing rod itself. So what many people tend to instinctively do is get as much luck as possible. But the problem here is calling it luck, because who doesn't want to be more lucky? But in truth, in the game, luck works a little differently. What the thing we're calling luck does is add a value to the base roll when you are dice rolling for loot. So let's have a look at the values attached to the items we will have the option of using for fishing luck. So for your fishing pole, a wooden pole will provide you with zero luck. A treated wood will provide you with 2,500 luck. An aged wood pole provides you with 7,500 luck. And a word wood pole provides you with 10,000 luck. And an iron wood pole provides you with 12,500 luck. The bait you choose to use will also, of course, provide you with a luck bonus. Bread and cheese bait will give you 4,700 luck. Wood louse and nightcrawler baits will provide you with 7,000 luck. Firefly and glowworm baits will provide you with 8,500 luck. Now for your fishing rod perks. Lucky day or lucky night one will provide you with 3,000 luck. Two will provide you with 5,000 luck. And of course, three, 7,500 luck. For your fishing armor perks, lucky waters is the one you will be looking for. And lucky waters one will provide you with 1,000 luck. Two, 1,500 luck. And lucky waters three will provide you with 2,000 luck. And for your fishing trophies, these provide you with minor 2500 luck, basic 3500 luck, and for majors 5000 luck since the changes in the last patch that changed the trophies. And the hotspots in New World also provide you with a luck bonus, and that is why everyone recommends you fish in those. So for the 1 star, you get a 0 luck bonus. For the 2 star, you get 159,900 luck. And for the 3 star, 243,300 luck added to your base roll. So, if you took the advice of people who tell you to stack up luck and got all of the best luck gear that you can, you would be looking at something like this. An ironwood fishing pole giving you 12,500 luck, having lucky day on your fishing pole giving you 7,500 luck, having lucky waters 3 on every piece of your gear giving you 10,000 luck total. Using a tier 3 bait like glowworms or fireflies will give you 8,500 luck. Fishing in 3 star hotspots giving you 243,300 luck, and using of course 3 major trophies, one in each of your homes, giving you a total of 15,000 luck, which would give you a total of 296,800 luck. Now there is also a song that offers an additional 500 fishing luck, but unless you have figured out how to bot undetectable, no one has this unlocked just yet. But if you are watching this in the future, and it is a thing that people can do commonly, you will have 297,300 max luck. Okay, so now that we know all of these crazy numbers, what does all this mean? Well, people a lot smarter than me figured out a while ago how this works. Your fishing luck interacts with the fishing loot tables by reducing the roll ranges as well as reducing the roll score for the items on the loot table. So let's have a look at the fishing loot tables so we can start to put this all together. We will, for this example, be looking specifically at 3 star hotspots because that's primarily where people will be fishing if we're going to be concerned about luck and how it works. So you can see this is the base loot table for any 3 star fishing hotspot. These are the base values of the rolls to catch the different fish. So if we have max full send luck we have 296,800 which we will then subtract from 300,000 which is the ceiling for the loot table. Which leaves us with 3200 and changes our loot table to look something like this. Now where you see an X, this is now completely excluded from your potential catch because your minimum roll will exceed the window that produces that outcome. So you can see that the rare fish have been completely excluded here. So with this luck you will always catch either a treasure chest or a legendary fish at a 65.4% treasure chest and a 34.6% legendary ratio. 
Now, if you are watching this later and the music buff is something everyone is doing, it will have a huge impact on the numbers in these high-end tight ranges, changing the odds on the outcome window, but not the potential outcome. So it will look more like this, 59% treasure chests and 41% legendaries. Okay, now that we have made it through that and have a better understanding of how when we cast, what we will catch is calculated game side, what does this mean in terms of when we are target fishing something like oysters, which are popular at the moment due to them being needed for musical instrument parts? Well, I'm sure most of you have already worked this out, but I will explain for those who haven't. If you simply blindly jump into this and throw on luck gear and trophies and everything you can think of that will increase your luck, you will very quickly either actually reduce your odds of catching the thing you are after, or completely locking it out and have no chance of catching it at all. Because even when fishing for green or blue rare fish, there are ways you can gear that will work to better your odds. And if you're casting a few times, maybe it won't be a big deal. But if you're truly farming for hours and hours, doing things to improve your odds starts to have a very real and noticeable effect on your overall total outcomes. So, let's just look at oysters for the moment. So for those, if you want to maximize your odds in 3 star hotspots, you will want to max your luck on your character at 22,500, knowing what we just covered in terms of the loot tables and luck and how it interacts. At this luck, we have now put ourselves in a position to be catching bluefish from 3 star hotspots 65% of the time. And because these saltwater hotspots where oysters can be caught have 3 potential bluefish outcomes, we are looking at one third of those bluefish ideally being an oyster. So theoretically, this should work out to 22 oysters every 100 casts into saltwater 3-star hotspots. Now, as we know, probability doesn't always work out exactly how we would like, in the short term. But long term, it tends to, which is why it exists as a measure. So you're always going to hear anecdotal remarks like I tried this and it didn't feel any different. But did they really try it? Did they fish for a thousand or more casts? This is when this becomes important. And if you're the type of person who farms something, you know 1,000 casts is nothing. Anyway, now that we have our ideal number, how do we best gear up to head out to fish? Well, the easiest way to achieve this is by hanging three major trophies in your home for a total of 15,000 fishing luck. Craft an aged wood fishing pole with no luck perks on it at all, just a simple aged wood pole, even with no perks, for 7,500 luck. This puts us right in the right spot where we want to be. Do not use any fishing gear, just wear your regular armor. And if you use bait, be sure to use size bait, like snail bait or something like that. Or even freshwater bait. This way you don't push your luck any higher than it is. This will be your ideal setup for catching bluefish from 3 star hotspots, oysters, piranha, whatever it is you're after. You see, more luck in this case is not better, and you will completely eliminate the bluefish from your loot table entirely by mistake, and the luck will be counterproductive. To simplify it for a second, just so everyone's clear, Think of fishing luck like this, because big numbers can tend to be intimidating. If you had a dice that rolled 1 to 6, and there were prizes attached to each number, and the prize you wanted badly was on number 3, and then I offered you a pill that if taken would give you 4 luck improving your roll. At first some of you might think wow more luck is great, but it would change your roll to 4 to 6, completely removing the item potential from the 3 from your potential outcomes. I hope that makes some kind of sense. Anyway guys, my head hurts from explaining this. I just felt it was important to talk about because I see so many people in chat in game talking about this. And so much of what is being said is just incorrect. So I hope this helps. I would also like to give a big shout out and thanks to Mixologic for my discord. This guy helped me in huge ways to get over some of the humps in the math and the exact numbers being data mined. This guy is truly a legend. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.